Hello everyone and hi Tim. Watch a lot of your stuff. I'm not sure if I'm going to release this or not. Obviously if people are seeing this I decided to. But you were asking why must a woman or why must James Bond be a woman? Why do people want to do that when um, they could just do new fresh intellectual proper properties? And women can be cool super spies. They can. They don't have to ride on the backs of previously existing franchises. You have the great movie Atomic Blonde. Definitely great spy movie, Charlize Theron. You have the really good movie Peppermint. Um, sorry, I'm forgetting, blanking on the star of that show. Then you could jump back to the old Avengers series. I know they made a movie, but I don't know if that really counts. But um, you had Honor Blackman, Diana Rigg, and then a third woman as, yeah, it was a, a male-female duo there, but really cool action hero spy women people. You can, and it's probably best done as um, their own new franchise, when done well. Now, but why... Is there a demand from the woke intersectionalists for a woman James Bond or a woman anything? There are two reasons, and I'll get to the first less important reason, or the less important reason first. It's a, for James Bond. It's a popular franchise that will get viewers, and it's safe to put money into to it for the studios, for the backers, for the money people. It's going to make, it's going to, you know, put out a, something with James Bond on the title. You're going to get your money back out of it. It isn't going to lose. Now, maybe after the second or third one that's really bad, they, you know, the series will tank. But the first one, it'll work. It's safe. You can just do it. So that's one of the two reasons. The main reason is, and I'm going to use it, they must destroy, discredit, or feminize the property. They must do this. That is their intention. They can't leave it alone as its own standard thing. Because these intersectionalists, these woke, believe that all that is feminine is good and all that is masculine is bad. That's their viewpoint, you know. You know, we hear a lot about toxic masculinity. You don't hear anything about toxic femininity. You know, you just don't. Ask a feminist, what is a bad masculine trait? I'm sure they'll come up with some. Ask a feminist, what is a bad feminine trait? Bet you it's going to be hard for them to come up with one. Now, I'm not going to play into anybody's tropes here by trying to to name someone, that isn't important. It's just the idea that they are trying to emasculate society. They are trying to feminize society. That is their goal, their objective. So whenever you have a popular thing that is masculine, they feel the need to feminize it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, you can give this channel a subscribe. You can like the video. You can, if you want to dislike it, do so, but please tell me why. And of course, on that vein, love to hear your comments, your thoughts on this. Thanks, everyone.